do you have to move? Do you have to transfer into Maryland? Your job's sending you here, but you don't want to live in the city. I completely get that. I'm going to be totally transparent with you. The city, Baltimore City, may not be for everybody, may not be for you. You called a report. Uh, you were wherever you live and you called a report that said Baltimore City is the city. It's like the Wild West. There's too many shootings. There's too much crime. Well, guess what? In this video, forget about the city. We're going to go over the five great places you can live in Hartford County, Maryland today and take the stress out of moving to Maryland. Well, hey there, I'm John Ruckman. I'm the Charm City Property Dude. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and go through the five great places you can live in Hartford County, Maryland. So you've got the orders. You've, you've been told you need to move to Maryland, but you called a report that said Baltimore City was like shoo, 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 the Wild West. And I get it. I get it. You're not a city person. So these five great places inside Hartford County just might be for you. Don't you worry. I've got your back when it comes to real estate, no matter the time, day, night, or weekend that you call, call this number here, email, or actually book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. Maybe it's okay. Put that, book that one-on-one -on -one consultation. I will answer the questions. I get how stressful, how scary it is to move to a new town, and I want to put you at ease as being a realtor in the area with these videos. So we're going to go over the five things now about Harford County. Okay, so make sure you stay until the very end because I have a question about what I saw in Forest Hill and I want to see if you know what it was. All right, so number one is Bel Air. And what I love about Bel Air is, is that there is a cultural diversity throughout Bel Air and there are so many things to do in Bel Air, Maryland. Like the high school was recently renovated a few years ago and they have this amazing football field and the amazing stands. This field and stands are like better than any of the other Harford County schools. That's probably because Bel, uh, Bel Air is the county seat. So you can tell by like the courthouses there um, and it's the county seat for Harford County. Uh, what I love about Bel Air is that uh, I can, I'm going to put together like there's an old time photo of the Ma and Pa Trail where there's this old train going through and I took pictures of the Independence Brewery and I also, which is located on Main Street and I also took a picture of these older buildings and you can actually see where the, the train, the railroad had gone through between the Independence and the Mill. And you can also see on the Mom Pa Trail where the old time trains used to go through. So that you speak of railway. Um, there's plenty to do for everybody in Bel Air. Um, you know, between the Mom Pa Trail, you have the uh, Athletic Center over off of Tollgate. You have Annie's Playground, which is a Bel Air, Faustin area. Um, and there is a cultural diversity within Main Street. There's also the Entertainment District. So if you want great pizza, it's in there. If you, the savory deli, it's in there. The, to the old timers that go to the old line barber shop, well, that's where my pasture goes from my church. So um, the average sales price in Bel Air is usually about 350. Harford County across is 350. Uh, you can find townhouses, condos, apartments, single family houses, old single family houses over off of uh, like behind the Mom Pa Trail. So you can see the old timey part of that um they also have a great place where you know for a monthly fee you can get your car washed which is pretty cool because i go there all the time uh from shopping to um they even have a surf shop there on uh it's uh bond main street so what happens is it's main street and bond street um the bel air uh, farmers market every saturday at the courthouse they have the bel air festival uh, they have this open amphitheater theater they're off of Shamrock. It's right next to the Bel Air Police Department. So uh, also note that Bel Air is a special taxing district, so it does have a police department. The only other two places in Harford County that has that would be Havity Grace and Aberdeen. They both have their own separate police departments. Uh, so number two is going to be Faustin, Maryland. Now I'm particularly fond of Faustin because this is where I live. So if you go straight up Mountain Road, so 95 North, Mountain Road, that's exit uh, 72. Hang a left, 
go about eight miles, you're in Falston. We're real close to Bel Air, so we share a lot of the commonalities with Bel Air. There's a lot of uh, uh, affordable housing here, but the housing is somewhat, uh, <laughs> some of the houses are probably, I mean, the average sales price is about $350,000. But the, uh, as you get further north into Faustin, you'll see houses that go anywhere from five, six, seven, eight, and the property sizes are bigger. But the good news is, is that we do have a Walmart here. We have several places that you can eat. There's a great pizza place. There's a great Mexican place. Um, and we're really close to Bel Air. So the back way going across Vale and Cars Mill, you get yourself over to Bel Air, which is then real close to the Ma and Pa Trail. Now there's no lack of sporting events that happen in and around Faustin. You have the one complex that's over on Record Road, which is right off Mountain Road. You have Faustin High School, which it's nice. All the fields around here, Faustin High School included, all the high school fields are brand new turf fields. Although Faustin High School is probably the oldest uh, high school in the county, uh, all the other ones have been updated. That being said, it's a brand new turf field, so the kids go out there and they play. You got a track going around there. It's a really nice venue. Uh, not quite as nice as, say, Bel Air. Bel Air has a big stadium style seating, uh, real nice field, but uh, Faustin has a lot to offer. So if you're in the area, uh, there's no way of, well, there is, I take this back, there is um, the Barrel House, which the Barrel House hosts a number of different events here. It's right there on Faustin on Mountain Road, hosts the Republican Alliance, hosts bands. It's kind of a uh, some comedians going there too so there's tons to do here right in Faustin but if you don't need to live in Faustin you can always just go about 15 minutes to the uh, to the east to Bel Air so number two on the list is Faustin and that brings us to number three which is going to be Forest Hill now listen none of these places are in any particular order but uh, number three is going to be Forest Hill Forest Hill so Forest Hill is just north of Bel Air and is about, uh, again, about 10 minutes away from Faust. In fact, I could throw a stone from Faust into Forest Hill. And the great news about Forest Hill is, is now you have the part of the Ma and Pa Trail that goes across in Faust. It's great. It's tree-lined. It's uh, one of the best scenic things I've ever seen in the Ma and Pa Trail. It's like a tunnel of forestry around you. It's really, really nice to walk, hike, ride a bike. And that goes over and that connects off onto Newport Drive, which uh, which has like a Notria restaurant. And then if you go a little bit further, there's Rock State Park, which is 24. And that takes you into Rock State Park. And when I say you've got fishing and you've got hiking and you've got the king and queen seats, so there's a ton of stuff. If you like to hike and walk and stuff, there are a ton of trails and stuff that go all through the Rock State Park. But if you wanted to hold a party or do a picnic or, or a fishing thing, I know when I was, um, my, my kids were younger, we had a Boy Scout thing where they said, hey, you wanna plan an event? And I said, yeah, we're gonna go. And you take an ultralight rod, and you take a little uh, rooster tail and you throw it out there and you can catch all kinds of fish it's a great time for the day now i'd recommend wearing old shoes so number number three on the list forest hill has a ton of stuff for everybody and you have like the Pan planet fitness there and you've got you know tons of different places to eat a great greek restaurant they have slovakia slovakia the chicken um they you know what a wonderful place. And of course, the average sales price of the houses in Forest Hill are about $350. You've got anywhere from townhouses, you've got apartments, you've got you know, single family homes, you've got the bigger single family homes, but the average sales price is $350. Um, so that's Forest Hill. Number four on this list would be Have de Grace. What I love about Have de Grace is you have Old Town Have de Grace and you have all this picturesque scenery. You've got the culture of the of Havre de Grace. You've got the water. Uh, if you go a little further north on the Susquehanna, you get to the dam. And when I say there's like 900 bald eagles up there, they're all over everywhere. I love it. And of course, you've got the Conowingo Dam, which is nice. But Havre de Grace hosts a number of restaurants. Uh, back in my day, I used to do a lot of theater in Havre de Grace. So I would uh, I would go and do theater at the Tidewater uh, Dinner. It's Tidewater Theater down there on Main Street. Actually, it's Union Street. So uh, there's so many different houses there. The average sales price, again, for Hartford County is 350 But you have the older homes, like the 1900s houses. 
down on the waterfront you've got condos which are absolutely beautiful and then you can look out of the water you got boat slips you've got uh, great restaurants you got the tidewater grill and you got mcgregor's awesome places to eat and you can get all kinds of seafood there too now a little secret to have to grace is is they actually filmed several different movies and uh, things inside have to grace they film like um uh, they just filmed the young americans were there not too long ago they just feel uh, uh filmed lion acres which was another film that was the girl from uh, guardians of the galaxy the one that wears all the green paint uh i know they did um house of cards which they filmed in and out of have to grace all the time in fact their uh their headquarters is actually down off of joppa road in uh, joppa town but they would film in and out of have to grace because have to grace looked a lot like where they were premising where house of cards which i think was georgia so instead of doing georgia anyway um have to grace is really one of those nice places and they had like the coca-cola plant there and they've got dealerships you can go across the uh milling tidings bridge to get across into cecil county and of course it's right off of 95 so it makes have to grace number four on my list and number five on the list is going to be aberdeen maryland well you go straight up 95 you get off at exit uh, like 85 that would be yeah that's uh, aberdeen Aberdeen hosts the Aberdeen Ironbirds. It's considered where Cal Ripken grew up as a kid. It was a named All-American city. The houses range anywhere from, you know, like in the twos, you've got single family, you've got apartments, you've got uh, you know, the bigger houses. When you get out further away from Aberdeen, but you're still in Aberdeen, you have those single family homes. There's one out there, it's like the Taj Mahal of houses. So there's a little bit of everything. Uh, you got the American Steakhouse in Aberdeen, which I think is probably the better steakhouse here in Hartford County. And you're just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Hollywood Casino, which is located just north of 95 into Cecil County. And guess what? They just built the Great Wolf Lodge in Cecil County next to the casino. So you send the kids over fishing, mom and dad, one of you watch the kids, and the other one go to the casino and gamble. Just saying. Gonna say it. So this makes Aberdeen number five on the list. Um, all these places really are only, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes away from the city. Everything is interconnected to 95. So, you know, Falston, you go down Mountain Road, Bel Air, you go down 24. Aberdeen, you got 22. Aberdeen and Havre Grace are right off of 40 and 95. So basically, you go up 95, make a right, you're right there. Everything is real close together. You can't go wrong with any of these places. The housing is great. Cultural diversity is great. Uh, there is something for everybody in each one of these places, which makes it great for those of you who don't want to live in the city. You can live out in the county and there's plenty of stuff for everybody. And I tell you, I'm just reminded here that uh, you can also catch the Carnival Cruise Line right there in the middle of Baltimore, real close to everything. Uh, that's what makes Maryland so great. It's kind of a small state. It's 107 miles from one end to, from north to south, 107. It's like, uh, um, like 109 from east to west until you hit West Virginia. So it's a really, really small state. We have everything you could want. We have minor league baseball. We have all the kids fields for lacrosse. They actually do the, like the little league competition right there at Ripken stadium. So that makes it nice too. Um, so this this is a great video. I love Hartford County. So if you don't have to live in the city and you want to, you can, you have a car, <laughs> you've got a car and you can live. If you're like the main breadwinner has to go to the city, but guess what? There's a lot of great jobs in and around Hartford County. I know the Hartford County government has a lot of jobs, uh, healthcare, you got Upper Chesapeake Union Memorial. There's tons of hospital jobs and healthcare jobs here. And if you're not into that kind of, you just want to do some retail, well, there's like three Targets in the county. There's three Walmarts in the county. There's a little bit for everybody. Um, there's a lot of secondary jobs and stuff like that for your kids and stuff. The good news is my kids, both of them are working now. I love it. My wife is off to work and I'm making these videos. So uh, that's what I love about these videos is that I'm able to share from personal experience 
And the good news is, the good news about all this stuff is that it's so close together, there's something for everybody. If you want to walk, jog, there's trails and there's bike trails and there's a great place to ride your motorcycles and there's a great place to go picnicking. So I really like putting these, uh, putting this video together because Harford County, I really know Harford County, the Charm City, the Charm City dude knows all, everything there is to know about Baltimore. But these videos make me uh, especially proud of like my county, Baltimore County, Baltimore City. And I love doing these videos for you. So listen, that concludes this video. I'm John. I'm the Charm City Property Dude. Please, 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 please do me a favor. Hit the like and subscribe button. That allows this channel to get out further to more people. And again, if I can help you with your real estate needs, no matter the day, night, or weekend, you know, go ahead and give me a call or book a consultation consultation right there. Uh, book a one-on-one -on -one consultation. It's free of charge. I don't charge anything. And uh, we'll help you out because I know, I get it, moving is like the worst packing and, and organizing and signing up for bg and &E and stuff so I, I get or the power company i get it so uh yeah so go ahead and take a look at either one of these videos right here and i'll catch you on the next video i want to thank you very much for checking out the video if you wouldn't mind go ahead and hit that like and subscribe so we're in the middle of four 